given that I am a really big fan of animated films, I know it's a bit of a surprise that I still hadn't, until now, watched Spirited Away. But to be honest, it didn't look like my kind of film. But, well, I watched it for two reasons. One, because people are constantly telling me that I should, which I agreed with. But also because I'm now trying to work my way through the top rated animations, as per Letterboxd. And this is one of the highest rated that I haven't seen. So I finally watched it on Netflix. And honestly, I didn't enjoy it. There are two reasons why. First of all, it just isn't my style of animation. It's not It's not an animation style that I find pleasing. And the narrative itself didn't really engage me that much. But also, I found the protagonist to be so annoying. There were times when I thought the narrative was actually quite interesting. And if the animation style had been more pleasing to my personal tastes, I might have enjoyed it more. But I found her to be so annoying and whingy that I just... In this change, she goes through character development and she does become more likeable. But because that was what she was like to begin with, I just had this negative outlook for, towards her basically throughout the whole film. But again, it's still not my kind of film. So while I didn't like it personally, it doesn't necessarily mean I think it's a bad film. But at the same time, there were aspects such as that character and the way she was presented in the beginning and maybe the first half of the film, first maybe first third, I think could have been different. I don't know if anybody else has had a similar experience where they looked at this character and just thought, you're really annoying, therefore I'm struggling to get behind you. But that's certainly what it was like for me. But at the same time, I'm not saying it's a bad film, it's very well edited. The animation style is very good, it's just not my personal preference. This was released, if you can believe it, in 2001, uh, directed and written by... Now, I'm going to mispronounce this, and I apologise wholeheartedly, but it's, it's Hayao Miyazaki. Feel free to phonetically tell me how to pronounce that if I've completely ruined that. I am absolutely terrible with pronunciations that I haven't heard spoken out loud before. Um, our protagonist is voiced by Davy Chase. Protagonist is Chihiro. Um, the English dub is, is Davy Chase. And the dubbing, I have to say, is perfectly fine. Absolutely no issues with that. It didn't look out of sync at any point. That's not something I found to be a problem. I know some films can dub and they just don't really work because you can, certainly with live action, you can kind of tell very clearly it's been dubbed. Not a problem here at all. Um, and this starts off with oh, this little girl. She's about 10 years old and she's in the car with her parents. And her parents were actually kind of likeable, especially her father. I, there was just something about the characters, their personalities that I really liked. And she's in the car, they're moving house, she's not really happy about this. And they accidentally stumbled upon this magical world where there are all kinds of witches and beings and spirits. And humans are transformed into these beast creatures. And that's a you know, pretty exciting concept. You know, it's... It's fun, it's unpredictable, there are all kinds of creatures which give, which lends itself to different kinds of animation styles, none of which appeal to me, but that's a personal preference again, not a fault of the film. Um, so there, visually, there are a lot of different things to look at. And with regards to how frequently these new creatures and aspects are introduced, I think the pacing was done very well. I found it very easy to keep up with. I don't think it took too long at all to kind of kickstart the narrative it got to the point pretty quickly which for me is a shame because i didn't mind the introduction when we were in the car with the parents all of that i kind of liked and then it got to the point of the narrative and it stopped being interesting to me so i'm aware i'm not necessarily the target audience with regards to the narrative style or the animation style those aspects i thought were well done but i do think that our protagonist as a character just isn't very likable so I do not rate this very highly from a personal perspective, but as a piece of cinema from 2001, I can kind of see why it's popular. If you're into this kind of anime and you don't find the protagonist annoying, then maybe you will like it. It's certainly a well-crafted narrative and I have no complaints with that at all and the editing is really good. So Spirited Away, I'm pleased, I, I'm pleased that I can finally say I have seen it, when somebody mentions it now, I can picture scenes, I can hear the voice of the character, the dubbed voice of the character. I actually have an understanding of what people are talking about. I'm glad that I can now say that. But it's 
really, really unlikely that I will ever watch it again.